Madam, a combination of factors contributed to the high bid occupancy rate of 87.2% early this year. Higher on some days and higher in some hospitals. With an aging population, there are now more old and frail patients who need hospitalization. The proportion of public sector admissions from patients aged 65 years and above has increased from 28.6% in 2006 to 33.4% in 2013. Older patients also tend to stay longer in hospitals because it takes longer for their conditions to stabilize and for them to be eligible for discharge. The average length of stay for patients aged 65 and above has lengthened from 7.8 days in 2010 to 8.2 in 2013. In comparison, younger patients' ALOS has actually shortened during this period. With a shrinking, shrinking family sizes and weaker family support over time, family members may not be ready to take their, parent, their patients home in a timely manner, and this will also result in a longer stay in the hospital. Madam, we address the capacity issue from both the short-term and the long-term perspectives. In the short term, we are actively managing the capacity in two ways. First, we are managing capacity in each hospital by facilitating timely discharge of patients to appropriate care settings, including community hospitals and nursing homes, as well as the patient's own homes. To better support our patients and their families, our hospitals are going beyond the physical confines of the hospital to provide care. Hospitals such as Changi General Hospital, Kutek Pat Hospital and Tan Tok Seng Hospital have formed transitional care teams to support patients in their home initially after discharge if necessary. These multidisciplinary teams comprising doctors, nurses and adult health professionals will continue to support the patients and ensure that the caregivers are able to provide proper care for the patients. This helps to give patients and their families greater assurance and facilitate timely discharge. Families who need time to make permanent care arrangements at home are able to tap on the interim caregiver scheme at Changi General Hospital, Tan Tok Seng Hospital and several other hospitals and community hospitals. As of December 2013, about 300 patients have benefited from this scheme. In view of the growing healthcare needs, we have added more than 300 beds in our public hospitals over the past six months. This was done by adding more beds into existing wards, recommissioning beds at the Communicable Disease Centre, and conver converting office and other non-clinical space into bed space. In addition, close to 1,000 more nursing home beds were added last year, which helped to take over from the hospitals lower acuity patients who need longer term care. Second, we are optimizing national capacity by initiating transfers from acute hospitals with a tight bed situation to others with higher bed capacity. We are also tapping on spare capacity in the private sector. For example, public-private partnerships have been forged between Changi General Hospital and Parkway East Hospital and also between National University Hospital and West Point Hospital. We now have almost 50 beds from these private hospitals and we are exploring further collaborations with the private capacity. We will continue to monitor the situation closely and work with our hospitals on all fronts to ensure that patient safety and care is not compromised. Over the medium term, the demand for <coughs> acute care services is likely to continue to rise as our population ages. MOH has already put in place plans to build additional bed capacity across care settings under the Healthcare 2020 Master Plan. In 2014, 1,200 beds, including community hospitals and nursing home beds, will be added to the healthcare sector, and 10,000 more beds will be added by the end of 2020. Besides the upcoming Ng Fong General Hospital and Jurong Community Hospital, which will open in 2014 and 2015, respectively, Yishun Community Hospital will open in 2016. Sengkang General Hospital and Community Hospital will open in 2018. And a new community hospital in Otram will be open by 2020. In the, inter in the intermediate and long-term care sector, we are building various 
elder care facilities, <coughs> including 12 new and replacement nursing homes by 2016. Even as we add capacity, we need to also transform the model of care because a hospital-centric system is not the best in meeting the care needs of an aging population. We need to help our senior population stay healthy and manage their chronic conditions better so that they do not need to be hospitalized frequently. We also need to provide good support in the community to allow them to recuperate well after a hospitalization episode. An example of a care transformation program is Tan Tok Seng Hospital's virtual hospital concept. This involves assigning a care manager to monitor frail patients who have a history of multiple admissions to hospital and help them better manage their conditions so that they can get better, stay healthy and not have to visit our hospitals often. We also need to build up our primary care and intermediate and long-term care sectors and integrate them better with our acute hospitals. These transformation efforts, together with planned increases in bed capacity, will allow us to better manage our healthcare needs in the decade ahead. 